So, Pan, you figure out that Google yet? <laughs> yeah, it's the Red Queen. Ah, oh, yeah, I thought it was like Black Widow or something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's close enough, Red Queen, Black Widow. Makes sense. So these grown, the grown men in the engine room, or... Climb down boiler. here? Yeah, I don't... Or whatever they were in, I don't know. Oh, shit. Look at, look at me exploring. Wait! That means we're going to be back at the house at some point. Because if they're still giving us antique coins, unless they're going to give us another area to turn them in. No. You're going back to the house. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, God. I wonder if there's exactly enough to get the 44 Magnum and the reload speed, or if you have to choose. I really hate this Echo. Echo, Echo, Echo. You're an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, I, I did the opposite. It's I'm an idiot, and he says you're an idiot. Shit. <laughs> what? From the Grinch, you remember that part? No. No. I haven't seen the Grinch in... What's A long, ages? long time. She's it's not my child. Cool. Did Mia oh, write that? Like... Oh, what the frick? Uh, hello, friends. He must have... Good call, Mia. You're, you're as smart as Ethan. Your pointed observations. So there was the captain and Carlisle, the chief engineer, Paul Fitzgerald, the first officer, Giovanni Finetti, the second officer, Clark C. Walsh, the mechanic, Dwayne Chalmers, guy. the communications technician, Jim uh, Stockman, and the physician, yes, uh, Jail the Widow. That's how they all talked. That's canon. <laughs> Jim Stockman. <laughs> Alright. That's probably one of the whitest names you could have. Jim Stockman. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see any black names. Those are the Damacus Williams. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a racist ass crew. What the hell? Tell me, Mike. Actually, I guess Giovanni is probably Italian or something. Whoa. Alright, so that can be a Latino name. She's inside me. She's inside everyone. That can't be good. Ooh. Actually, depending on how you look at it, <laughs> that could be good. <laughs> Actually, no. He, you don't want a chick died. inside you. No, never mind. Chick, well. hmm. <laughs> That's joking. That guy died in the toilet, though. The next to him. That's sad. Someone busted yeah. out this door. Well, that thing got flown open. That guy I was so scary. Like, ah, oh, shit, I am so dead. I am so dead. You taking a shit, and there's some, the door blew off. <laughs> He's like, shit. Like the guy in Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah. But instead of a T-Rex, it's a... Creepy-ass little girl. If that chick is this powerful, why the hell would she not do anything to... Oh yeah, you guys missed it. Ethan actually ran into the little girl at one point when he was grabbing the D-Series arm, but she didn't do anything. She just, like, just ran by, and that's all. You just saw her legs for a second. The Annabelle, 1987. Interesting. Ooh, that's a creepy reference to Annabelle. <laughs> the movie? Yeah. I like The Conjuring. Did you ever see The Conjuring? Oh shit! She can literally kill people with her minds? Yeah, she's OP as hell. Are you remembering? Oh, she's actually here. Oh shit. Evil, that's what she is. Pure evil. You don't follow that creepy ass laugh. I mean, doesn't she technically think we're her mom? So would she kill her mom? What? I th didn't she think that we're her mom? I... I, I don't remember that. 
Where's Ethan though? Yeah. I hope he's not maybe there. maybe he's gonna become her dad. He's oh. Maybe she killed she's a, Marguerite. Yeah, she's just like looking for her parents, or she wants parents. I don't know. Maybe so this, this yeah, this sad little girl is just looking for a family. What? Is, how? How does he die like that? Ah, maybe maybe the floor fell after he died. I don't know. Yeah, that's a precarious position there, buddy. <laughs> well, luckily, she didn't rip our head off with her mind. I know. Her See, I told you. Yeah, she's she's down off us. She's all good in the hood. Yeah, Mia. See? See? I knew it. She, she wants a family. Come on. Just because she's evil doesn't mean she can't be our adoptive daughter. Okay, well if you kill us, it's like we're gonna be your bloody mom if we're straight up dead. Is that a laundry room? What the hell? Doesn't they have laundry rooms on a boat? Well, I guess... Think how big this boat is. Yes. Oh, frick! Oh, shit. Oh, I got the clothes! Oh. <laughs> nice, nice door mechanics, Capcom. So somehow are they gonna have like a flame thing in this boat? <sighs> Why? I guess Capcom was mad at me for making fun of their door physics. Really? No weapon? Rack nerd. I should probably use those. It's too late for us. But it, actually, I should probably close the door if I read this. Alright. Might it's go too late in the hallway. Us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Oh, was that all in my head? I woke up at 19.30. There was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. Drew, one of our engineers, came in and said, There was something going on down below. Maybe a riot. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going down to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw a clock being eaten by some sort of blackest monster. See, that's just racist, man. Come on, just kidding. <laughs> the monster turned and started coming towards me, huge shock-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Oh, it's Giovanni, my boy! <laughs> of course. Now I'm huddled up in the bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way it's going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Giovanni Finetti. I don't remember my voice, you Giovanni. That probably wasn't it. Oh well. Giovanni is, I don't know. It was oh, like... it was something. Can't open that crate. So I mean, I must have missed a knife somewhere, unless they're just teasing us. Wait, was that a door behind you? That was the door we came through. Oh, was it? Yeah. A life okay. vest? Can I grab that thing off it? What is that? Is that a flashlight? Can I not grab the flashlight? Okay. Another note. Dear Janet. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Who starts off a letter, hey, how's it going? It's like they can't respond. It's a letter. Ugh, whatever. 
I guess half of you. Yeah, I know. Like two months. I'm sorry. That's how you. That's how you start a text, not a letter. <laughs> Who's writing this at Capcom? Come on, just kidding. I guess half a year or so will have passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here, day after day, just the same old sea. Although there is one thing that's different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. Imagine, traveling in a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hot up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. What? How does a man not have any relatives? Maybe I'm overthinking this. I think you are, Jim. I miss you. Love, Jim. Isn't that the guy with the white name? What was his name? Jim Carlisle or something. I don't know, some white shit. Who knows? This room is noisy as Amazon hell. River Cruise Guide. Amazon? But, but we're in Louisiana. Yeah, that's... That's interesting. <laughs> Unless all of a sudden we made it to South America. Unless this boat somehow minutes. got teleported. Maybe that's why Ethan was so surprised. Maybe he was the dad. He was the dad? Maybe. Then who are Jack? Who's Jack in them? I think there are just some random assholes that got like caught up in a mess caused by Umbrella. Just innocent bystanders. And then all of a sudden... Can I push this? Nope. I don't think I want to push it. Because why else would Ethan have recognized the ship? I don't know, maybe, maybe my theory's not gonna be right, but maybe it will be. The thing is, if Ethan recognized the ship, why didn't he remember the little girl? Hmm. Did he ever, he never even saw the little girl, though. Oh, hell yeah. Well, Ho hopefully Mia's a better shot than Ethan. <laughs> Did you just see? Did you just see what opened the door? This asshole. Yeah. He looks dead as hell. Oh, click that! Click that shit again. Look I, it. I think his hand just fell off of it. Did it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think he was. I thought, oh, he was probably trying to get the gun when he died. Okay. I thought. That freaked me out a sec. What else do I have? Mm -hmm. I have this and standard Pretty fuse much, no. that can be used for various purposes. Can be replaced. So we need to find a fuse box. Is what it seems like. Ew. Oh, here it is. Fuse. Wait, is this the first door that we went down? Was that a big circle? I think. Did we open this before? There's an herb. Oh, I can make... Should I waste my bullets to open this? Probably... Hmm. What if I waste this bullet and there's more bullets in here? See, that would be that would be worth it. For it. There would have been if I didn't just wait. That. Uh, is this where I came up? If that's where I came up, then that asshole was outside this door. Where was that other chest? Was it back here? Oh, Frank, there's that asshole. And there was another asshole in this hallway.
Close it. Close it. No, don't close it. Don't close it. Now close it. Where's that chest? Oh, here we go. Well, okay. Damn it! So I would have had a one first aid med and more ammo, but now I have neither. Well, actually, I have two first aid meds. Whatever. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Honestly, I should probably save just in case some crazy shit goes down. Just in case, Aruni. No one can stop me, I'm all the way up. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. Boo -boo. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, so there are four floors. Sounds like there's some assholes behind this door. Maybe I should skip it. Well, let's see if I can even open it in the first place. I can. Not sure I'm a big fan of that. Sure. Yeah, I don't. Just pitch black. Oh my god. Is that, is that the little girl? Why is she watching static? What type of creepy little girl just watches static? Oh wait, every single creepy little girl. Makes sense. If I still had a bullet, I could have just popped the cap. Oh, I can't oh. even shoot her. What? Why? You need to remember. Be a family. She doesn't look that bad. I know she looks pretty normal. I bet she's yeah, like she me. She gets like evil. a she gets like an evil face, probably like erg. I'm evil. All right, what's your crazy video? Old old videotape. <laughs> with like that goo shit all over. All right, if this reveals that Ethan actually is the dad, I'm gonna say I called it. Called it. But if it reveals that he's <laughs> not the dad, I'm gonna say ah well. Test subject E001, C transport log, top Mia secret. Winter's cabin? See, I don't know if I should be able to watch this, girl. It says top secret. Be e? kind, please rewind. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see if Ethan's in here. Well, it says Mia Winter's on cabin. Oh, she was definitely here, but maybe this is before she met Ethan. Maybe. Oh wait, the date, 2014. So, if if Mia went missing three years ago... She must have infected me during the attack. Alan. Yeah, I'm too far gone. So this must be at the beginning when Ethan um, went missing. Is that a codex? My fault she got out. No, it's probably that yeah. thing that sh it is your fault. the bakers had on Ethan. Yeah, the codex. <laughs> oh, that's what it's called, a codex? What? I guess, that's what they, so they call it, that's what they call it like one time. Oh. Take it. It has your tissue samples. Well, this is the ball we found in our pocket, so it is important. Find her. Fix this. Okay, Evie, where are you? Oh, we're like a Ethan? secret agent or something. What if Mia works for Umbrella? <laughs> this game just turns super Resident Evil in about like half a second. Wait, this is a videotape, right? Who in the hell is videotaping this? What? 
he? I'm confused. Look Machine gun? Oh boy! <laughs> P90! Oh shit! Special Operations Division Director Alan Dorany and caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains the girl, remains at her current location, she is at high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Evelyn to our Central American branch for safekeeping. Central American! They were in the Amazon! For safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to your, the following protocols. Act as parental guardian for Evelyn at all times to avoid a suspicion. Manage Evelyn's... Okay, so I guess it wasn't Ethan. Ethan is just some poor asshole that got dragged into this. I'm sorry, Ethan. Manage Evelyn vitals via the genome codex provided. Okay. Pan's right. It's called a codex. And if the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Evelyn. All right. I'll pop some serious... Oh, what's in here? Nothing. No okay. Pull out your gun, girl. Hell yeah! Isn't that from, uh... It looks like it's from MW3. Uh, yeah. That's called the PP90 MO1 in that. Did she or, fucking even remember that shit from like six years ago? I freaking love that gun, honestly. I didn't use the MP7 <laughs> like every other asshole. <laughs> like me? <laughs> <laughs> no, you used the MP5. At least it seemed like. I I used I used a lot of guns in that game. How'd you get further? Why is he giving me supplements? That's so random. Of all the things to give me, why stimulants? Why I don't have any freaking um chem fluid. Bitches all over the place. No, she's just like a teleporting asshole. I don't know what the point of shooting her at her is, because she's the one making us watch this videotape, so obviously we're not going to kill her. <laughs> yeah, I mean... What's this? Just shove the machine gun barrel in it. Just ba 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 ba. Bullets are the answer yeah. to all life's problems, even unlocking doors. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, you can't open the door. What the hell? Why did you give me so many supplements? Weird. Maybe they heard me complain about them giving me supplements, so they said they'd give me more. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is just a random boat. Why in the hell is there random ass machine gun ammo? Whatever. I think I liked, I liked Resident Evil 1. That game was game. Fun. I wish we had been able to record it for everyone to watch. Yeah. I don't know. I like the giant spiders and stuff in that. That shit was sketchy. Spooky. <laughs> that first time we saw him. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> it was the most classic nope in the history of nopes. I've never left the room so damn fast in my life. Actually, one time, I was at a playground with my dad and sister, and we were, like, walking around, and we, like, went, like, kind of past the playground, there's, like, some wilderness area, and I saw a couple of, like, teens that had, like, I, I assume they were airsoft guns, they looked like real guns to me, I noped out of there so fast, like, my dad told the, oh. My dad told the story and said, like, he turned around, and I was just gone. I, th I totally thought they had been, like, killed, too. I probably would have heard the gunshots in retrospect, but I wasn't thinking. But I was, like, super stirred. What the hell? Do I have something? No, you were, you were wrong, Pan, sorry. Oh. Uh. Can't just shove a machine gun barrel into a lock. What can a machine gun solve? P90 
peace. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, she was really close to you. Oh, shit, she is. We better check what? Uh, the rest of the floor. What the frick? Oh, and she's, she's right here then. I'm blowing this. I'm blowing finding Evelyn right now. Wouldn't she be behind this door then? What the frick? Oh, I'm stupid. What the hell is that? Ew. Yeah, it looks like some weird fucking larva monster. She's vomiting. What? Damn. I'll have to reset. What? Ah, it's an Apple Watch. She can call people on it. Far more in excess of her body mass. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> We're going to be seeing a lot more of her ugly friends if this keeps up. <laughs> All right. We need to find her and fast. This is getting out of hand. Calm down, Alan. Glad to see people are actually using their iWatch. Did you know they sure as hell weren't using them in real life? 